Hi, my name is Aragi Nakara, and I am a junior. I'm majoring in theater studies and economics. My name is Unji. I'm a sophomore in Trumbull College at Yale. I'm majoring in East Asian studies, and I'm originally from Atlanta, Georgia. My name is Byron Reyes Luna. I'm a sophomore, and I'm a theater studies major. My name is Malika Chan Bachman. I do not have a major yet, as I am a first year. Hi, my name is Anthony Skinner. I'm a sophomore, majoring in computer science. Hi, my name is Arnold Sediati, and I'm a sophomore in Yale College. But y'all don't care about that. This video is not about me. And nope, it's not about my SAT scores either. I actually have a video and a playlist about that right over here, or you can go down in the description down below. This video is about all these lovely Yale students who generously donated their time to talk to us about their current situation. So before we start the video, I would ask you to please like, comment, and subscribe for more content and click the bell notification icon so you guys will know when the next video is posted. But without further ado, let's start with the first question. How are you doing and what is your living situation like? I'm doing pretty well. I'm here in quarantine. I'm good. I'm not doing too bad. I'm doing okay. Before this, we were having fun like we always do. I am at home right now living with my four siblings and my two parents. I'm living with my family, family of five. Uh, my dad, my mom, me, and I have two siblings. We don't spend as much time as uh, I want to together, so being with them a lot is uh, something I'm really happy about. This has been a big acclimatization process, hard to adjust at some points. I'm lucky to have stable internet and a good living condition that has made my classes pretty easy to complete. I live in an apartment in New York, so the quarantine certainly gets to you because mm. there is a lack of outdoor space, but it's nice to live across the street from a park and have the opportunity to just take daily walks and such. I'm back at home with my family. I have stable internet. I messed with my siblings who are all also doing online school. Nothing, nothing too bad. How are online classes? Online classes are not bad at all. I'm really lucky because most of my classes this semester are lecture classes so like I don't have like too many seminar or like breakout room. They're also doing pretty well. Luckily the classes that I'm taking are slightly easier to, to transfer to online. I only have five class sessions a week so that's pretty cool. Online classes kind of suck. I mean they're not as good as being uh, in person took a long time to get used to, but they're not going too bad right now. The lectures are very easy. It's nice to not have to walk to class or worry about anything else. You just get out of bed, go to class, that's it. It's been hard to stay motivated on work sometimes, but just gotta push through. Is studying and fulfilling requirements for your major difficult online? I'm in a lab class called Virus Discovery. We can't complete the rest of the curriculum, or not so much curriculum, but in my class we were developing our personal projects that we would use like some of the lab equipment available at Yale to um, actually gather data. That's no longer possible because labs right now are like only being restricted to like personnel who was like um, necessary to be there. Um, and so that whole structure of the class has changed. So I'm taking uh, theater, theater classes and economics classes and so for economics class it's actually pretty easy to move online but for theater classes for some of them it's not as easy but the ones that I'm taking it's it's easier I'm taking a class called theatrical violence and so that one's slightly less easy because the class is basically us like you know fighting each other like in person but now we just make like cool videos of us fighting different things. I'm a computer science major and it can be a little bit difficult when you have to complete a project but you can't exactly meet with your professors during office hours or meet with some TAs who can give you that one-on-one -on -one help. That being said, we are making good use of, of Piazza, which is the forum software we use to communicate with each other and get our questions answered. Most of my classes are lectures so it hasn't been too bad but I do have a seminar class that's for my major that I'm taking. One of the biggest components of that seminar class is a research project that we can't currently do any like formal research on because we're not near like the libraries or anything like that. So that's been a little difficult, but my professor has provided a lot of material online. So it's actually been smoother than I thought it would be. What is the biggest challenge on Zoom? Getting it synchronized so that everybody knows what Zoom meeting they're supposed to go to and when, because a lot of the Times you'll see it sent out an email, today's Zoom link is this, or you have to go to Canvas. It would be great if there was just some like Zoom hub you could pull up and save all your classes. I don't know, that might be a feature that I'm just not aware of, but uh, is it? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Okay. The biggest challenge on Zoom has certainly been 
the abundance of free time. Definitely staying focused. Because it's nice to not have to go to class and worry about commuting there. All you have to do all day is complete your work and go to class. But then at the same time, like without the superfluous activities like extracurriculars or social commitments, it's hard to find motivation to continue doing your schoolwork because there's no break. It's easy to be on your phone or just do other things because no one can really watch watch you like i managed to find a way where i can see where my camera exactly is so like my phone at a certain place and now i can be on my phone while i'm in class bro for me personally <laughs> the biggest challenge on zoom is just like my setting i don't have like my own room at home and so sometimes it gets a little noisy it's sometimes difficult to contribute to a conversation because i have to unmute myself so I turn my mic off whenever my professors are speaking and occasionally they ask you to like turn it back on and like tell them how you're doing and I can never like press the mic button to turn it back on properly so there's like an awkward like three seconds where I'm fiddling to turn it on. That's been the hardest part but if that's been the hardest part then it's been a fine experience so. What are some funny things that happen during class on Zoom? I'm not sure if I can like share this story because like uh, i don't know it was in chinese class i think this is one okay i haven't had any funny experiences so far to be completely honest i'm in a sketch comedy group and so we had we had our first meeting and at the end of the meeting everyone was just like let's like create a song and so we all just created a song like someone like brought out a flute in class like for our quizzes we have to submit our answers privately to our professor <laughs> sometimes though if you don't check before you send them you send it to the entire class and i remember last week i accidentally did that and i started freaking out because i just sent all the quiz answers to everyone in the class someone was just was like beatbox and you know other people were i grabbed my skateboard and i started i started pretending it was a guitar so that was just a really uh, funny and wild thing to do to end the meeting uh, i remember you were doing a chinese lecture in the living room once where you were doing the art and dance and i think i joined in for a quick second on that one this is one girl in uh, my virus discovery class um, that like we're all like you know talking about like viruses and like uh, phages and things like that and then all of a sudden i see her like a little doll pop up and she had like a little like <laughs> lamb how have your summer plans changed since covid 19. yes uh yes summer plans they have changed <laughs> drastically i was originally supposed to be going to japan this summer for a five-week program called Humanities in Tokyo. Uh, however, because Japan is recognized as, I think it's like level three or four now in the CDC, they've canceled it along with most summer programs. I was planning to stay at Yale and do research in one of the labs. I was planning on continuing doing research with my professor from this virus discovery lab, but you know, plans looking real slow because the situation is not looking to get any better, not anytime soon. I was also like working on a, a a passion project with uh, one of my hometown friends. Um, and so I'll just continue working on that and developing developing that, so yeah. But I can't tell you what it's about because it's a surprise. Ah, he already, he already knew what I was gonna ask. He already Day knew. Two. That's for the next video, y'all. That's next if we video. Get, if we get, you gotta like uh, and subscribe. Like, subscribe. If we get like um, 55,000. So I had planned to intern in Washington, DC. The internship is still in session and everything, but I'm not going to DC physically anymore. Everything's just gonna be remote. So it's a little disappointing that I can't go into the city and work out of the office itself, but I am really thankful that my internship hasn't been canceled or anything like that. Beginning of this semester, I applied for the Light Fellowship, so I intended on studying abroad in Beijing. Early on, that seemed like that wasn't gonna happen. So I explored other options. So after that, I was going to either go to um, the London School of Economics or a multilateral diplomacy program in Switzerland, both of which were canceled this past week. My summer goal hasn't changed. My goal is to get my license. And so right now I need to do that goal as I'm 20 and I don't have my license anymore. So that's got to change. My other goal relating to, you know, you know, internships and jobs and stuff like that. I'm still in the, the searching process for internships and, but I've applied to a couple and so I'm waiting to hear back. Uh, one that I'm particularly waiting for is an internship at HBO and, but it's in California. So we'll see if that even happens. If I I do get it. Uh, so those are the sort of things. I'm just waiting back to hear about the different things I applied for. So I'll either take classes via Yale summer session or take online Chinese classes, but I'm still deciding. What is something you miss the most about Yale that won't be happening anymore because of COVID-19? <laughs> so I'm producing a senior project um, in theater studies 
and it centers around um, creating a, de a device performance with um, high school students in New Haven. And so now, sadly, we won't be able to do that. It was supposed to happen two weeks after we came back on campus. Uh, so, and I created lots of great friendships with the high school students and I miss their show that they're all a part of um, at their high school, their own musical and things like that. And so I'm sad I don't have, I don't have a chance to sort of um, help them create this device performance. But luckily the person I'm working with is still going to be here next year. So we're going to try to actually put it on next year. I'm a really big fan of Bass Library on campus. Like I know like it's not the big opinion, but I'm such a fan of like the 145 closings and like saying hi to the security guards and everything. And like, I can't like sit in the library with my friends till two in the morning with my, you know, studying anymore. And honestly, I really miss those late night study days with friends. I miss saying goodbye to the security guards when there's like no one else in the library. And that's something that I know, like I can't get back until I get back on campus. I don't, I don't know, not to be cliche, but the people, like just being in the physical space with like all these great, great people. It's like something I definitely miss, something that you can't get anywhere else. One aspect that I miss the most is performing. I, I feel bad for any performer on campus, whether it be acapella or drama, I don't know. <laughs> But um, I'm in YD, Yale Dancers, and we were working towards our spring performances. You know, when things like that get canceled, it's like you did a lot of rehearsals and work for no payoff in a way. I'm definitely going to miss performing with YD um, and just being able to rehearse with them because you can't really do that over Zoom. I miss the events, the gatherings. Uh, you know, I was looking forward to Spring Fling. That was really fun last year. Uh, additionally, you know, we here at Pearson, we had this Pearson Activity Day with the bounce house and the slides. Great time, you remember it. Are there any habits or routines you've established adapting to your new life? No. Yeah, I feel embarrassed because right now, <laughs> um, 4 a.m. is now 1 a.m. for me before. Most of my classes don't start until like uh, 11 or 10, and but that's only on Monday through Thursday. So on Friday, Saturday, Sunday, I just sleep at really late. And that's mostly because I'm like, playing some video games because I don't really play that many video games when I'm at in college. So that's a very bad habit I have to fix, but I, I'm working on it though, I'm working on it. Cooking my own breakfast. I, I make like a bowl of oatmeal before Chinese class or like I fry up some eggs with my brother. Um, and then usually in the afternoon, in between my classes, I go on like a small walk outside. I take a breath of fresh air. It's more something that I've re-implemented in high school. Every weekday, my parents and I would eat dinner together at seven. We watched Jeopardy, talk about the day. Um, and it was like one of my favorite parts of the day, just to like sit down and decompress and watch some TV. And it's just nice to go back to the way things were before I left. Habits or routines, just uh, have fun and enjoy yourself whenever you need it. This can be a stressful place and it's important to unwind. I remember last year you helped me make a, a GCAL because I had trouble organizing my schedule and I was taking the math class. Uh, Spanish and these other classes at the same time. So having the GCAL and knowing when to go to office hours, that was helpful. Is that bad? Am I a horrible student? Um, any words of encouragement? We'll get through this. Uh, that sounds... Don't Surround yourself with positive energy because I've learned that staying positive in all situations is uh, just a really good piece of advice. We, as human beings... No, that's too philosophical. Uh, this too shall pass. I think... We. There's always hope, just be blessed. Always hold hope in your heart, never let it go. All of us collectively have the ability. Better days are coming. All right, edit this. It's gonna be okay. Boom. Hey! Hey! hey. 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 <laughs>